Hi, and welcome to section 1.3. Uh, this is the first of three videos for this section. Section 1.3, we start to talk about what is one of the most important things within calculus, which is the limit of a function. So in this first video, just going to kind of give you some definitions, then in video two and three we'll work through some examples, sort of look at what we're talking about. The intuitive definition says the following, what value does a function get close to? as we near some value of x but, and here's the important part, not actually x itself. So when we're talking about limits, as we're approaching some value, we're not actually concerned with at that exact value of x, what's that value, but more so as we approach it from either the left or the right, what value in the y-axis are we getting closer to? So let's look at an example. Let's say we have the function f of x, which is equal to x squared, something Hopefully, you're pretty familiar with x squared is what? x squared is our parabola. So from the intuitive standpoint, what value do we get close to as x gets close to 2. So what we're wondering here, what the intuitive definition says in terms of a limit, is when x, as we get closer to 2, as I come from the left side, if I keep coming back to the y-axis, what value am I getting closer and closer to? Or if I'm coming from the right side, if I'm coming down the parabola. So let me use a different color here for the distinction. So let's say I'm coming down the parabola. What value am I getting closer to? And you can see here that what? That as we get closer to x, when x is 2, we're getting closer and closer to the number value of 4. So that's the intuitive definition. What are we getting close to as some value of x gets closer to a specified value? The formal definition now the following. Suppose f of x is defined when x is near a number call it A. So first off, what does this mean when it's defined near a number A? Well, think about the square root function. The square root function is what? On the right half of the graph. So if we were to say, well, is it gets near negative 10, that doesn't really make sense. The graph isn't even over in the negative area. So we're talking about only where 
the function has a specified domain and range. If there's no range, if there's no domain that's part of that function, then it's not defined at that point. But if it is defined near this number A, we write, and again, this is the formal definition, the limit, L-I-M for short, then we have this notation here, X with an arrow towards this number A. So the limit as X approaches A of some function at F of X is equal to L, whatever that limit might be. So if we're talking in this case here, the limit as X approaches 2, so the limit as X approaches 2 of our function, which is X squared in this case, as we saw, this value is 4. So the closer that we get to 2, from either the left side or the right side, we're getting closer and closer to a value of 4. So continuing with the definition here, if we can make the values of f of x arbitrarily close to L, by taking x to be sufficiently close to A, but not equal to A. So just as before, we're not taking that value of A and plugging it into the function. We're picking values very, very close to that value of A, so, but not equal to A. And that's the important part here. So this really should be not an if, but we can make the values of f of x arbitrarily close to L by taking x to be sufficiently close to A, but not equal to A. So again, we're not actually plugging that value of A into the function, we're finding the values very, very close to it, and what values does that give us for our limit value L? Okay, so as I said, this was kind of a short video, uh, just kind of getting the definitions out there intuitively, what are we talking about, and then formally, and the big part of that one is this here. This is the notation we're going to see an awful lot now for the remainder of the semester as we go through these sections. So come on back, we'll do video two, we'll look at some examples, what we're talking about, sort of using this formal definition as we're getting close uh, to this value of A.